Hi guys, my name is Kimberlyn. This is my horse Ace, and I'm going to teach you how to put a halter on a horse today. Um, so when I'm teaching my students how to put a halter on, the first thing I tell them is to approach the horse at the shoulder or the neck, rather than approaching the horse head on, because that can be kind of intimidating to a horse and they might run away from you. So I'm approaching him at the neck, and I'm going to use my lead rope. Go ahead and put that up and over his neck so if he tries to walk away, I can hold on to him or I can encourage him to stay with me. Um, next thing I'm going to do is ask him to put his head down a little bit and I can either do that with my hand up behind his ears by putting some pressure on his head or I can move this rope up behind his ears and then, <laughs> and then pull down on the rope to get him to put his head down just like that. Once his head is down, I'm going to put my hand on his head grab the top of my halter, that way this hand is free to guide his nose into the hole, and then I'm going to gently push his ears forward to get the halter over his ears. Now the next thing I need to do is kind of finagle the halter to fit his face properly so that I can put my throat latch on this circle up here, and it's not too tight on his head. And that's how you put a halter on. A lot of times, halters will get into a jumbled mess like this, and it's really confusing to know what part goes where on your horse's head. And so when you get this jumbled mess, there's a couple different things you can look for. Um, this big long piece with a big buckle on it is going to be the part that goes behind his ears. This piece, that kind of looks like the letter T, is the throat latch, and it's going to go underneath his chin. So that should help you determine what's the top and the bottom and what's forward and what's backwards. Um, a lot of times I'll see people approach their horse and they kind of hold their halter up like this. They don't quite know what part goes where. And maybe they get halfway, they find the top, but then they put their halter on their horse backwards. And this is not the correct way <laughs> to have a halter on your horse, right? There shouldn't be this much going on in the front of his face. So you know you've got your halter backwards if that's what you always end up with. <laughs> he doesn't appreciate it very much. So, you flip it around. Okay. And when you put his nose through this hole here, oh wait. Now you can see he doesn't have quite as much going on on his face, and that's how the halter should sit. You should just have this one um, strap across his nose, and everything else should be under his chin or behind his ears. There's two pieces here you can line up and always make sure you have on either side of his nose, kind of a circle, sometimes it's a square. There are also two more circles that are higher up, and that attaches to the head skull part, which would go behind his ears, which has that nice big buckle on it. And then the throat latch, of course, has that T-shape to it. Uh, a lot of times people will attach the lead rope to the incorrect spot. I've seen lead ropes attached here. I have seen lead ropes attached here. But really the correct spot is this sliding ring under his chin. And that's going to give you the best connection point to be able to lead him properly.